Guess what just came in the mail? It's here. It's here. Let's go to the post office and go grab what I think y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's go pick it up. I changed. I'm at the post office. Excuse me. I claimed it. I got it. I got it. Honestly, I thought I was going to be a little bit heavier, but that's probably due to my immaculous big old muscles. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's get to the table. There we go. So fancy. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I feel like it would be heavy for everybody else, but it's not heavy for me. Like, I regularly work out, I have big muscles, so, like, it might be heavy to other ruin the box it's so scrumptious look how juicy they are the detail the vibrancy the contrast but what am i gonna make and where am i gonna put it but the main question is what am i gonna use i'm gonna use acrylic so before i ruin it i'm gonna actually gonna do a little tester on this like little uh pink uh canvas that i made a long time ago i didn't make it i just painted it pink these are all my old acrylics and i realized i had a golden one in there but I have a new pack of golden, golden fluid acrylic. I think that's exactly the ones that uh, 1000 uses, along with some matte medium and some new paintbrushes because I, I this is going to be really small and I needed some small paintbrushes and all my small ones are nasty. So let's open it up. It's an unboxing video as well. You're welcome. So once I got them all out, uh, I obviously threw it away in the recycling. Um, and I unwrapped the matte medium. Hurry up. Hurry up. So I emptied all, out all my colors. I wanted all the colors of the rainbow. Happy Pride once again, everybody. Yes, that is a greenish color, but let's not talk about it. Unwrapping my new paintbrushes. Oh, they smell so synthetic. I got a small one. Got some water. And now I don't know what to paint. But knowing me, I might paint a portrait. Wow. It's so unlike me to draw a portrait. They're so outside of my comfort zone. Just kidding. Uh, anyways, I just painted a random little portrait. I wanted to make it quick uh, just to get my, you know, bearings again with acrylic. Now, when I started painting, I, acrylic was the only thing I ever used. I loved acrylic. I loved how fast it dried. I liked how I had so much control over it and I didn't have to wait. The main thing was patience. I have none. So that's why I loved acrylic, but now I hate it because now I can't stand how fast it dries. And don't get me started on the amount of paint that you waste with acrylic. That's something that, you know, that, you know, everybody's like, oh, oil paint is so expensive. Y'all know how much oil or like acrylic paint y'all waste on a palette because it dries so damn fast? Let me stop because this is supposed to be a fun collaboration video. Anyways, this is just my tester painting, like I said, just kind of putting paint everywhere I can uh trying to block everything out and you know when I get to this point I kind of darken my darks get my contrast back as you can see here and now I'm doing my highlights with different colors so it looks like the bottom of the face is glow or glowing blue and then the cheeks are very flustered and red and of course the blue background I mean it is it is my video so is there a spider on me oh <gasps> it wasn't it was just hair I'm just hairy Anyways, look at this. It's almost done. It's like a juicy Jolly Rancher person. I found a frame. I haven't worked in acrylic in a long time, but uh, I think I did pretty good. You're pretty. I will say I'm a little nervous about starting the big one, but we shall proceed to the main event. The one y'all waiting for, but I got did another painting for you. Anyways, let's get into the main event, shall we? Mm -hmm. But before we begin, I am doing a little sketch on my iPad because why not? You know, I won't ruin anything. I could just take a picture, you know, kind of measure it out as I'm as I'm doing here and just kind of see what I want to make. I didn't like a lot of my first sketches, as you can tell. Uh, they're a little iffy, uh, a little strange, a little scary. I was planning on just doing a big face, but then I realized, you know, I'm going in the middle of these two paintings, so I might as well... I, that's a challenge in and of itself, but I might as well incorporate my art with those two drawings or paintings. 
It's a painting. It's acrylic painting. But then I got this idea. Maybe I should hold the branch and then I should pet the, the bird. Hold the branch, pet the bird. While we're on a shirt. And this is the outcome. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so it's kind of adorable. Look at the hands though. There, I need to fix those, but that well, I'll work on that later. So before I begin, I am left-handed, so I had to tape off the left-hand side because I didn't want to smear anything. And I don't normally do this because I don't do the wolf waffing. I got prepared because I'm doing a sketch with pencil. I don't like doing a sketch with pencil because I end up going into too much detail and then I get really nervous about, you know, painting over my beautiful sketch. So that's why I don't do any sketches with pencil anymore, but because I don't want to mess it up, I thought this would be the best route. So a light pencil sketch, I did spray it with um uh, some stuff, I, I can't remember what it's called. It's some old stuff I got a long time ago. I think it's fixative, but it's not. Anyways, uh, once I was done with the sketch, because the sketch is very light, I had to go in with my paint blush. Look at me grabbing it. Ooh. Y'all always try to be aesthetic in this video. So I, pay, I this is it's kind of embarrassing, but I did uh, take <laughs> videos of me doing absolutely nothing just to put <coughs> just to put them like in between these clips to make me look like I know what I'm doing with like editing. You know what I mean? Shut up. Y'all, there it is again. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything in that clip. I'm literally just like w wiping around a paintbrush onto my table. <laughs> uh, I hate to ruin the aesthetic, but I can't lie. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, but uh, I, you guys would already know that. Anyway, I'll be quiet for a little bit while y'all watch me do the outline. And the outline is all done. Look at that. Ooh, I was so confident. I was so confident. I was like, okay, I got this in the bag. I got this in the bag. This is going to be easy as pie. And then I went in with the first color. Yeah. That bluish yellow y'all know I don't like. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I went in with that, with that first color. But I knew that I wanted to, you know, make it an ogre before I made it into a colorful bean. That's how I get the beautiful browns. So I have to go in with this bluish yellow to, in order to get that rich. I'm not doing anything. Once again, I'm not doing anything in this clip. That's, that's fake. <laughs> I have to ruin it for y'all. I'm sorry. It looks pretty though. Kinda. But anyways, so I make myself a little ogre. A little ogre bean. A little ogre man. And yeah. That's about it. And this is my favorite part, going in with the reds and the pinks. Oh my gosh. It really just vivid, vividly makes everything pop. So everything was looking a little bit too um, bright for my liking. So I went in with like an orange and went over all those light colors. A little wash, if you will. It really did help to tone down some of that bluish yellow um, and kind of make it more of an earthy tone instead of something that's so bright and like, you know, I'm not doing anything. That's fake. But, and I go in with some more. That's fake as well. That is fake. That was fake footage. Anyways, it was looking kind of dull, in my opinion. I felt like the colors were really diluted and not unsaturated. And I think that was because of the background. So I ended up doing a blue background. And it really did help me bring out some of the colors in the face. Especially since I was using a lot of orange. And having the background be so orange, it was messing with my eyeballs. I'm not used to orange backgrounds. 10 hundred, why'd you do that to me? Anyways, off camera, I, I painted in the shirt. Uh, I f I'm sorry I forgot to d show y'all. But uh, yeah, that's fake footage of me doing yellow. And I painted the orange shirt yellow. Oh, look at his little baby head. Look at his little baby here. Oh, it's so cute. I'm 
I'm sorry. I had, I had to cut in real quick. Look how can I touch the can I touch a little birdie? Can I touch a little baby birdie, please? And let me hold your weeds. So the background was a little bit of a struggle for me because I didn't know what to exactly do. 10 hundred side was a little easier because he already had those like blue wispies everywhere. Um, but yeah, I ended up making it work. Here's me doing like a little finishing touches on the mouth because it was kind of throwing me off. Adding some highlights underneath the face to create that roundness. You know what I mean? There we go. Uh, and then I forgot about the flowers. Uh, I'm not good at flowers. I don't think I ever will be. Maybe I need more practice. Maybe not. I don't know. But my favorite thing to wear in the summer are floral shirts. <laughs> I love me some floral shirts. Ooh. And then I wish I had a shirt like this. It was it's, it's yellow and pink. Very pretty contrasting colors, if you ask me. And I don't know about you, but adding that little pop of pink and that yellow, it suddenly made everything so much more cohesive. Are you going to sit there and lie to me? Are you going to sit there and lie to me and tell me I'm wrong? Oh, and then I, I really did. I don't know about this yellow, this white. That's fake. But um, I really don't know about that white in the middle. But anyways, this is me kind of merging the side, other side to mine. I forgot to film it. <laughs> but you know, and then this is me doing the hair. Yeah, I was gonna add scratchy scratches, but I was so scared about the wood and ruining the wood. That's fake. So I ended up doing the little squiggles in the hair. Look at this. It's my little, I love doing this little designs. And that's my little scratchy scratch, scratch, scratch. And it's all done. It's all done. Look at it. Look at it. Just take a second. I'll, I'll be quiet. Take a look, take a stare, take a glance. Look how ju not too hard, but like, take a look. Baby, as I, I, I did it. This is my contribution to the collab. I did it. Okay, it's heavy. And thank you guys so much for watching. And another shout out to Temi for letting me be in this collaboration. I wouldn't have done it without you, literally. Bye bye. Just kidding. But who is it going to next, you might be asking. Well, drum roll, please. Hi, guys. I'm Denzel, and Christian is sending me the artwork next. If you don't know me, my channel name is Corrigo. I do a whole bunch of stuff. I make custom bags like this one. I'm going to get this up. I also make rugs, custom painted clothing. I did a skateboard one time. You can see there's like a porcelain theme. Let me get this up without scratching. <laughs> canvas painting sometimes like this and I can't wait to get the artwork next so look forward to watching the next video oh and I can't wait to see what they end up adding to this collaboration so go ahead and check their channel out but before you do you can subscribe here click the little bell so you know when I post because I'm a little random and while you're here you can go ahead and check out some of my other videos if you want well I guess that's it I'll see you in the next video Happy Pride.